Hello guys, this is Alex Trevino and this is the last tutorial of the Laser Cowboy series. This is on Blender and Substance and this video is about render. In this video, I'm going to explain the principal BSD of material, the depth of field, memory management and post-production. This to achieve an image that explains the details and creates an atmosphere. For this, you will need the Node Wrangler add-on. Click Ctrl Shift T and select the textures. With this, the add-on will add the base color, the metallic, roughness and the normal map automatically. Also, you can add another textures. Here I will add the ambient occlusion. So I add an image, connect it, select the ambient occlusion texture. Add a math node and select multiply. Also, I change the image to non-color. I add another image texture. In this case, it's going to be the scattering. Change the color space to non-color. Add a color ramp to manage the intensity of the subsurface scattering. I add another image, this time it's gonna be the emissive. I can add this texture directly on the principal shader node, but with this one you cannot change the intensity of the light, so I use an emission node. Now I add a mix shader and join the emission with the principal BSDF. So now you know how I add the other textures that the Node Wrangler do not add automatically. To use depth of field, first you need to go to the camera. Select the camera and click zero. Then add an empty object and this will be where we will focus. Go to the camera properties, to the depth of field and then focus object, select the empty object that we just made. Now open the aperture and you will use the f-stop. The f-stop works like in a traditional camera. A big f-stop like 22 it's gonna be everything on focus and a lower f-stop like 2.8 everything will be out of focus except the area of the empty object. If you want to change the focus location you need to change the empty object. First you need to go to the render menu Change the render engine to cycles and the device select GPU compute. After that go to edit preferences and on system you need to check that the cycle render devices use the GPU and the CPU. 
This way the memory is limited by your CPU RAM instead of the GPU VRAM. The post-production I divided on color correction using camera raw, color grading using LUTs and emphasis using pigmenting, gradients and masks. For the post-production I go to Photoshop, here I have the raw render with transparencies, so I put a background in black. And also I put a blue gradient with a 70% of opacity, so I now start with the coloring. The first one is the color correction in red that I'm going to use the camera raw filter. The only thing that I need to do is duplicate everything and go to the camera filter. Here you have different options like clarity, shadows, highlights and exposure. Also you have the sharpening so you can change the amount but if you put a lot of sharpening you will get a lot of noise, beware. So here you can see the difference between the base render and the camera raw. Now I will make another layer, this one with emphasis. To make this I only need to duplicate the layer before and put it on color dodge on the blending mode with 3% because 100 is a lot. In this case I will use a mask but change it to black. With this I will select the emphasis part so you can see the difference between the normal image and the new one with a little bit of emphasis. After that I add another layer, this is pigmenting and another layer with another pigmenting, this one with the color blue. I will make the first color grading, in this I will use a loot, here you can select the loot. This will have an 80% of opacity. After that I add another layer with a camera raw filter. I will add a little more pigmenting on the superior and the lower part. In this one, with camera raw, I will change the temperature. And 
and in this layer I will remove the noisy part of the smoke. The thing that I need to do here is to duplicate the layer and blur it out completely. Here you can see that everything is with blur. So with that you put a mask and select where the blur will affect. With this you remove the noise of the smoke. And here I add three different loots. And finally add another one. With this I have the final image. This is not a recipe that you need to follow. This is the recipe for this image and I think that you need to make your own recipe for your own image. Also I want to explain how to make a black and white image you just need to go to this part and go to the hue saturation and remove the saturation so this is it the post-production is complete so in this video I explain the principal BSDF material how to use the depth of field the memory management and how I do the post-production in Photoshop. This to achieve an image that explains the details and creates an atmosphere. I have uh, some free assets and also paid ones. The free pack includes a clay render and the laser cowboy bag ready to texture this last one. The limited pack includes a mapped scene, so you can texture it in Substance Painter. The complete pack that includes everything that I told you before, and also five materials made in Substance Painter.